많고 화창한 미국 서부 와이오밍주에 오신 것을 환영합니다. 테슬이 주렁주렁 달린 가죽 저켓, 종아리까지 오는 굵직한 가죽 부츠, 날렵한 곡선을 뽐내는 책모자, 말을 타고 로프를 휘두르며 소를 몰고 때론 라이벌과 살벌한 권총결투를 벌이는 황량한 들판을 질주하는 고독한 사나이. 이렇게 말하면 혹시 누구의 이미지가 떠오르시나요? 바로 카우보이인데요. 서부 개척지를 누비고 장악하는 카우보이의 모습은 다른 나라에선 볼수 없는 어찌 보면 가장 미국스러운 이미지 중 하나인데요. 이번 화에서는 오레곤 트레이를 중심으로 개척지의 흔적을 되짚어보고 현재 시대의 카우보이의 삶을 살아가는 분들을 만나보겠습니다. 그럼 준비하시고 오늘의 여행 함께 떠나보겠습니다. 자유의 나라 미국 우리에게 가장 잘 알려지고 친숙한 나라 중 하나이기도 한 미국은 다양성, 열정, 그리고 매력을 지닌 50개의 주로 이루어져 있습니다. 저는 한국과 미국에서 자랐고 그후 전문통 역사로 양국의 언어와 문화를 이어온 전솔지입니다. 이런 다양한 매력을 여러분께도 알려드리기 위해 제 발로 직접 뛰어 미국의 전 지역을 여행하고 다양한 사람들을 만나보았습니다. 그럼 저와 함께 미국으로 여행을 떠나보실까요? 먼지가 많은 도로, 좁은 산길, 그리고 화려한 풍경을 보며 와이오밍이 카우보이주라는 별명을 얻게 된 이유가 확연히 보였습니다. 캐스퍼라는 도시에서는 근면하고 열심히 일하고 겸손한 전형적인 서부마을을 찾을 수 있었는데요. 이곳에서 저는 카우보이가 되는 것이 쉬운 일이 아니라 카우보이 모자와 아름다운 풍경 이상으로 많은 노력이 깃든 일이라는 것을 배웠습니다. 어떤 이들은 그들을 카우보이라고 불렀고 다른 이들은 그들을 개척자라고 불렀는데요. 이 용감한 사람들은 마차를 타고 온 나라를 돌아다니며 더 나은 삶을 찾아 떠났습니다. My name is Morris Carter. I'm owner of Historic Trails West and we do living history wagon train trips on the Oregon California Pony Express Trails in Casper, Wyoming. 어, 아니요. 전 이렇게 큰 말은 진짜 처음 봐요. 네, 저말두 마리가 이 수레를 끄는 말이라고 하는데요. 진짜 커요. 와서 보세요. 요! 하이! This is Taz, one of my saddle horses that we ride. Ah, Been on wagon trains a lot. Thank you for giving us the ride. Beautiful. I'll hook it down there. Climb in. I got some padding for you to set up up there. Thank you. Wow! This. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so. All the accommodations of a wagon. Wow. Wow. Or sleep. 옛날 40만여 명의 개척자들이 서쪽으로 이동할 때 사용했던 것과 비슷한 마차에 올라타니 마치 오래된 서부 영화 세트장을 걷고 있는 듯한 기분이 들었습니다. <웃음> Let's go to Wild West. <웃음> 2000 어, 옛날에 이 정도의 경사를 이렇게 웨건으로 갈수 있었다니까 진짜 너무 신기하고 대단한데요. 지금처럼 이 수레가 이렇게 다, 뭐 브레이크가 있는 것도 아니고 그래서 훨씬 더 힘들었다고 하네요. 잠시 후 말들에게 물을 주고 저희도 다리를 뻗을 수 있도록 휴식 시간을 가졌습니다. <웃음> oh, <you're shutting> so... <웃음> 오레곤 트레일을 건너는 마차를 가득 채운 가족들과 그들의 짐을 운반한 말들이 진정한 영웅이었습니다. 
than down here on the rivers where the American Indians would come in and spend the winter. Right. Because there were buffalo they could hunt here in the water. Yeah, this is my spirit eagle teepee. And this scene depicts them chasing buffalo. Huh? And that's what the Indians would paint on their lodges is things that happened in their family. When, you, when you're inside them at night, you'll see the figures from the inside out. And it is, it's kind of a spiritual experience to be in one. Your knives and forks and uh, right here's the steaks. 제가 또 캠핑에서 스테이크는 처음 먹어보네요. 오레곤 트레일 투어를 하면 이렇게 스테이크도 점심으로 먹을 수 있다니 너무 좋은 것 같아요. 음, <웃음> 맛있어요. The way it was in real life was a lot wilder than the movies because there was no law. You had to be an individual enough that you could take care of your family, even though you were interacting a lot of times with absolute outlaws. Only when you're ready to aim your pistol and you have exactly where you want it to go, do you touch the trigger. You're not gonna fire, are you? No. No. It hurt everybody's ears yeah, and it rang for a long time. You got a good grip okay. on it. Okay, all right. Put this hand oh, around no. here. Okay, it's so many. Now stick your arm straight out mm. and look right down this V with that front side. Oh, it's heavy. It's actually really heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have like a lighter pistol? <laughs> oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. Milk Hero got in a jar, Morrison and Toy get copied and on your job. Turn in Matter, Undan and Bangbob, you get your son. My new job after I'm done with this job. 어릴 적에 카우보이를 상상하면 먼지를 자욱히 일으키며 가죽 조끼를 입고 말을 타는 사람들을 떠올렸었는데요. 그건 그냥 영화 속 인물이었던 것 같아요. 카우보이 주에 머무르면서 카우보이는 그냥 더 나은 삶을 찾는 평범한 사람들이었다는 것을 깨닫게 되었습니다. <목소리> 수많은 개척자들이 더 나은 농지를 찾기 위해 이주했지만 미국을 변화시킨 미국에서 가장 큰 규모의 이주의 원인은 바로 금의 발견이었습니다. 저는 저만의 보물을 찾기 위해 와이오밍주에 있는 사우스 패스 시티로 향했습니다. My name is John Lane. I work here at South Pass City State Historic Site as a curator of public programs. Original, authentic places like this are disappearing. And it's important that people be able to walk in the footsteps of real pioneers. And uh, that's really the goal. Welcome to South Pass City. Thank you. Second oldest uh, town in Wyoming. People came to this place after gold was discovered. Gold Rush started this town, and what we're standing in here today used to be a place that had 2,000 people and 300 buildings. Wow. But this intersection that we're standing at right here was the center of commerce in South Pass City for about 40 years. Wow, but it makes sense. Everything, the gold started everything, and then it when did. the gold was gone, that was the end of the history for this town. I feel like staying here, I, I get a glimpse of the old glory it once had. And we still gold pan in the creek here ah, in the summer. We've really? got active gold claims in the area, still producing enough gold to keep people interested, and it's authentic here. We it, don't salt the creek and guarantee gold. Okay, well, I'd love to see each building. Can you show me around? Yeah. The jail is across the creek, in case you're curious. The jail? Well, the second industry after gold mining in South Bass City mm -hmm. was saloons. This is one of the oldest buildings in town. Wow. Oh. This is the original Sweetwater County Jailhouse. Mm -hmm. And the front of the building used to be this door right oh. here. Uh -huh. But because of those saloons, those card games, those fights, mm -hmm. uh, the jail was soon bursting at its seams. <laughs> and they had to add on this front room <laughs> after a year. This is the Miner's Exchange Saloon. And it dates back to the gold rush. And of course, saloons being the crossroads of commerce but also social activity. People come here can walk into an authentic saloon building that's been restored. You know saloons are about entertainment, pastimes. Well, they still played what we like to play these days. So They do. 
Can you imagine though walking into a town where you don't know anybody? Right. You've spent weeks crossing the Great Plains and you hear a familiar song coming out of a doorway. That's kind of cheerful. It, just, it will pull you in. And these saloons are colorful places. They're the brightest places and they raise your spirit. You play? Yeah, I, a little bit. Now we're talking. <laughs> You're blowing me away. No. This is great. <laughs> 사우스 패스 시티 같은 다른 도시들은 일확 천금을 노리는 모든 사람들에게 큰 인기를 얻었다고 합니다. The underground mining took off again in the 1890s. New science, new technology, explosives, pumps, hoisting, drills. Overnight, work that used to be inefficient becomes profitable again. What is that? Oh my god, it's a wrench. It's huge. I suppose this is at least 30 pounds. I'm sure it is, yes. <gasps> Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. So if I accidentally missed a step back in the days, I would have been melted with gold. I would have been the golden girl forever. Yeah, the big tanks down below are agitator tanks. Mm -hmm. 이런 황금 정착촌들은 오늘날 유령 마을에 지나진 않지만 골드러시는 대규모 이주를 촉진함으로써 미국의 모습을 영원히 바꾸어 놓았습니다. 계속된 금 이야기에 과연 저도 금을 찾을 수 있을지 궁금해졌는데요. 그래서 거의 150년 전 정착민들이 사금을 채취한 강으로 존과 함께 가보았습니다. You've got to have water in order to recover gold. First thing to do is stir all that material. And once you can hear the rocks sliding and wiggling against each other, yep. the small particles of gold can work their way to the bottom of the pan. I may have a small piece of gold. <gasps> yeah, right here. That piece right oh there. Oh my gosh, it's gold. Oh. Gold is so heavy, once you get it a uh, chance to drop in water, it will. 네, 제가 방금 사금으로 금을 추출해 봤는데요. 실제로 금을 찾아서 지금 금을 제가 보관하려고 보관할 장소를 찾고 있습니다. 제가 처음으로 사금을 발견했을 때 정말 너무 신이 났어요. 그래서 수많은 개척자들이 사우스베스 시티와 같은 마을들로 이끌렸던 이유를 충분히 이해할 수 있었습니다. マチャルムルゴクムルケゴナニウイザンマンガチュミョンチョドイジェチンジョンアンカーボイガテルコカテンキブニトロスミダタンボムルビアワンビョカムスビルチャキウイエチョニモジャガゲアンロトロガバスミ
Oh, she's checking up on her. Yep, she's just making sure everything's okay. Mm. Uh, you'll have some cows that they'll get on the fight and try and take you, nice. but most of them, they just, they want to make sure everything's okay. See, mom's calling you, let's go. But the calves at their real young age, they don't have very good vision. All they see are kind of general shapes and shadows. It makes it easier to approach them. I like you. Maybe not. <laughs> I think that's one way love. Um, are they like warning each other that we are here? Uh, they're actually mooing because dad's in the tractor. Oh. And that's, that's where the hay is going to be coming in. Oh. And so we run about 400 mother cows, uh, and those are cows that potentially will all have calves this spring. Feed the cattle, the first thing we do, we buy all of our hay. We buy about 800 ton of hay a year. Uh, we'll need about 25 pounds of hay per day per cow. 많은 건초를 분배하는 것도 큰 일인데 이로도 모자라 소를 사육하기 위해서는 수년의 기술과 연습이 필요하다고 해요. 카우보이가 되기 위해 필요한 굉장한 기술과 인내심에 새삼 경외심을 느끼게 되었습니다. A rancher is so compassionate about his animals, mm. whether it's his horses, his cattle. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a, you develop a real connection with them, mm. uh, but it's why we can work the 60, 70, 80 hours a week mm. uh, and uh, don't mind it because we have such a passion for what we do and for our, our livestock. If you're going to ranch, you better love the outdoors. If it is raining or snowing, it's still a go. You're going to ride in the rain. Maybe you're going to be wet and cold all day, just the way it was 150 years ago. We guarantee you're going to be tired, you're going to be sore, and you're going to be dirty. Most of those were 24 to 48 hours old, so he was able to catch them. The ones that, were, that I had to rope, those calves are a little bit older. And so there are two ways to catch them. And, and one is a sheep hook. The other option then is to rope them. I was able to rope his hind feet. That's called healing them. And we do that because it doesn't choke them. It's very easy. The calf just falls over uh, and you can drag the calf to wherever you want. But it's the way it's been done for hundreds of years. When you had to catch an animal out on the hills, the only way you can do it is by roping them. 밧줄로 송아지를 잡는 것은 보기보다 어렵지만 다나같이 노련한 카우브에게는 별 문제가 되지 않는다고 해요. He got the calf. Are you castrating him? Yep. Are you? Yep. <gasps> it's just a you put a rubber band on there. Oh, that's it. And so it cuts off the circulation oh. and eventually just drops off. Uh, and so it's much more humane way for them. Mm, uh, than literally cutting it off. Yep. Makes sense. Sorry, buddy, that we had to do that. I'm sorry. 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 I'm it's not the hat, it's not the boots, it's what's in you, it's an integrity, it's a moral background. Uh, these are all part of being a cowboy uh, because you can teach them how, the methods, but if you don't have the passion in here, you're never going to do it. You're never going to do it. Matcha Tour에서 옛날의 서부를 경험하며 저는 부와 새로운 경험을 찾아 나서며 많은 일을 겪었을 이들이 대단하다는 생각을 했습니다. 버려진 마을의 남은 흔적도 볼수 있어 굉장히 흥미로운 여행이었는데요. 사우스 패스 시티에서 처음으로 직접 금을 찾은 기억도 정말 오래 간직할 것 같습니다. 금을 찾아 나선 예전의 카우보이와 땅을 일군 현대 카우보이의 모습을 고루 배우는 여행이었습니다. 이어질 다음 모험도 기다려지네요.